Hey everybody, Greg here at VideoMaker. Today we're gonna to talk about LED lights and the CRI rating. Now the CRI rating stands for Color Rendering Index. And what this is supposed to measure is how accurately or how well a given LED light uh, represents the true color of what you're shooting. So, you know, some lights are, are better than others. And the idea here is that the higher the number or the closer it is to 100, uh, the more accurately it's gonna reproduce those colors. And the lower the number, or maybe there's no number even listed at all, probably means it's not gonna quite produce those colors as well or as true to real life. So today what we're gonna do is take the same setup with different LED lights that have different CRI ratings and put them to the test against a tungsten light source. So without further ado, it's time to take our test. I'm gonna show you four shots here and your job is to try to guess which one is the tungsten, which one has the highest CRI rating and which one has the lowest and there's one in between. So let's take a look. So with these four shots you're looking at, one of them is shot with a tungsten light, one of them has a CRI rating of 98, one has a CRI rating of 77, and the other has an unlisted CRI rating, which basically means we have no idea what the CRI rating is. So let's see how well you did and reveal what these are. So you can see here now, you might be surprised by the results or maybe you hit it head on, but this bit definitely gives you a very good idea of the kinds of things that you might encounter with lower CRI ratings versus middle of the road versus upper. So let's start by looking at some shots back to back with the tungsten light. Okay, so here's the tungsten light shot. And basically what we wanna do is pay attention to the vector scope, which kind of is showing you, you know, where all the colors of this shot are laying out. And let's go ahead and put it back to back with the unrated CRI light. So I'm gonna switch back and forth here, tungsten, unrated tungsten unrated and if you watch I mean you can definitely see there's a huge shift toward the green not only visually but also on the vector scope you can see how you know those little tentacles are reaching out toward the green side and shying away maybe from the red side as well of course you know this is a light that has a retail price of around $945 and that is for a 3200 to 5600k adjustable LED light so, you know, we get a lot of people saying, well, why should I spend so much for a light? Well, this is a thousand dollar light and this is the difference between a tungsten and an LED. So now let's look at a little bit of a higher rated CRI and see what it looks like. So here's our tungsten again. And here is that CRI light with a rating of 77 and a retail of $2,695. Now again, that's for a 3200 to 5600 adjustable LED. So if you were gonna get maybe a single 3200K, you could pretty much knock around $1,000 off that price. So let's switch back and forth again. So here's our tungsten and here's our 77. Now on the vector scope, you can see that it's pulling away a little bit from the blue, you know, reaching out maybe a little bit more toward the orange and green, but overall, not too bad, you know, if you really pay attention to the colors on the xylophone, you can see some shifts in those colors. But all in all, for a 77 rating, the result is pretty good. So, you know, the, the CRI result doesn't necessarily equate one-to-one -to, -one to video. So in other words, you know, video is just dealing with red, green, blue, whereas the CRI rating is dealing with all the colors of the spectrum. So that is sort of an important note that, you know, the number itself doesn't necessarily tell you everything. That being said, let's move on to the next comparison. So we're back to our tungsten light here and let's go ahead and move forward to a CRI rating of 95. So let's go tungsten and then our 95 CRI rating. Now you can see here, there's not as much of a shift in the hue here of the vector. So, you know, it's staying pretty true. And you know, this light is 2630. So it's actually even a little bit cheaper than the previous light. So pretty good, I mean, and it should be because it's a CRI of 95. Okay, let's look at another one. Here's our tungsten again, and here's our 98 CRI rated light. Now, the retail on this is 1785, but it's important to note that that is a 5600K only light. So realistically, it's maybe costs about 100 to $200 more than the previous lights we've been looking at. So not a huge difference in price. Now, granted, there's a huge difference in price between the unrated CRI and all of these, you know, 77, 95, 98 CRIs, but you know, you really can see the difference. So, you know, let's switch back and forth here. So there's our tungsten, and I mean, there's barely a shift in those colors, you know, maybe a slight move away from the green and orange toward the pink, but you know, not much. There's definitely a highlight there, but that has to do more with the fact that this is more of a spotlight type light than a, a floodlight. So, you know, you shouldn't take that as any negative. 
Okay, so now we've compared them all, you know, back to back with the tungsten source. Let's sort of go one by one and just compare the LEDs on their own. Okay, so let's start with this unrated CRI, which retails for $945 for the 3200 to 5600K version, and take a look. And then let's jump up to the 77, okay? Now let's go to the 95, to the 98, and then back to our unrated. So you can really see as I toggle between the 98 CRI and the unrated, there's a huge shift in color there. So just something to be aware of if you know you're going to purchase, you know, a less expensive light, which of course we understand, you know, budgetary concerns are definitely a factor. Uh, but you just want to know what you're in for and know why is that light cheaper? Well, that's probably one of the reasons why. It's just a little bit less accurate or maybe a lot less accurate uh, on the color spectrum. So there you have it, a quick comparison of various LED lights compared to tungsten sources, compared to themselves. And this should give you a better idea of really how closely do you need to pay attention to those CRI ratings. You know, I think the general rule of thumb here is probably if the CRI isn't listed, that's probably a pretty good sign that that color rendering is not gonna be that accurate. So you, know, you just wanna be prepared for that. If you need to buy a cheaper light, that's fine. Um, but we just don't want you to be caught by surprise. So hopefully this information is helpful. I'm Greg Olson with Video Maker. We'll see you next time.